So in this Illustrator tutorial, we're just going to run through how to um, make a 3D cube um, using the rectangle tool, the rect selection tool, and the gradient tool. Okay, so the first thing we need to, to set up here is a rectangle. Okay, so we're just going to grab our uh, rectangular tool and draw out a rectangle. It doesn't really matter whether it's square or uh, rectangular, and um, we're going to change that in a second anyway. Okay, and then we've grabbed the direct selection tool from up here on the top left of the toolbar. Okay, so we're going to lose the stroke um, for our rectangle and just remove that. And then we're going to jump back to the, the fill. So we're looking at the toolbar on the left hand side here. And we're going to use the swatches. We're just going to grab um, the orange swatch uh, here. Okay, and then we'll just move this down to the right a little. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to replicate this three times and then fit those three squares together so they kind of form a cube like shape. Okay, so we'll just uh, make three of these. And then with a the direct selection tool, um, we're going to select the paths um, of one side of one of these squares and just drag those up. So I'm shift and clicking to select those two. And you can see when they're selected, they're slightly darker inside here uh, than the ones that aren't selected. So they're filled full with blue. Okay, and you can see now I can move that one edge of the cube. I'm going to move it in a little bit closer here. Okay, and this will be our front edge, and it should snap nicely um, here to this other shape. So for this top square, we're just going to grab the direct selection tool and snap it in here. Okay, so it snaps to the edges of this path. Okay, and then we'll pull this one down until we end up with something close to the cube that we're looking for. Okay, let's just make sure these are snap nicely together. Okay, so let's just pull these down. So we can drag a marquee around the um, points too, and that means we can move more than one of those edges at a time. Okay, okay, let's grab the selection tool. We'll just change the color of a couple of these shapes. Okay, now the aim here is to use the gradient tool to actually add in a little bit of texture to the uh, the size of this cube. I'm not too worried that it's a little bit uh, wonky. That's gonna kind of add to the effect. So we'll grab uh, one side here, and then we'll come to the gradient tool on the right here. And we're going to use a, a radial gradient. Okay, and then we're going to jump straight to the gradient tool, which is uh, about two thirds of the way down um, in the toolbar here. Okay, and you can see when we've got this, we can move it, we can drag it, we can extend it, and we can get this nice kind of gradient that runs across the edge of our cube there. And if we drag this so it's larger than the actual cube itself, then we'll get this kind of nice effect. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. I do want to change the colors here. So I'm just going to double click in here and we'll use, we'll start with the orange, which we had in here before. Um, and then we're going to jump up here and we'll use the same, a slightly different orange. Okay, so you can see we've got this very subtle gradient from one side of that cube to the other. And we'll do the same up here with the yellow. We'll grab the um, gradient, we'll change the type to radial, and then we'll just rotate this round and expand it out. Okay, and then we'll just double click in here and lighten up. So I'm going to jump into the color options here and the hue, saturation, and brightness, and just remove the saturation there just so you get that kind of tint of color and uh, that nice gradient. And then we'll come down to this side here and we'll add in another radial gradient. And this time um, we'll just edit, first of all, um, in our gradient panel. And I'm just going to Add a little bit of red in here just for a little bit more texture and 
do the same here, but then just darken it off a little. Okay, and we'll jump to the gradient tool across here on the left-hand toolbar, and then just move this until we're kind of happy with the positioning and the spacing of the gradient. So we'll just stretch this out. Okay. Okay, and that's looking pretty good. Um, I think we could just tweak this side a little bit more, just so it matches up a bit more closely with the other colors that we've got in there. So we want to leave it a little bit darker, but kind of match the, the tone a little bit more. And that's looking pretty good. Okay, so you can see now we've got a kind of cube-like um, effect um, using the, the gradient tool.